What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba Marina and today we're going to talk a little bit about double systems and BCDs that are appropriate for double systems and the reason I want to make this video, I got a question on scuba board from a Big Boss 11 and he asked if I could make a video for him explaining how a double systems works with say a generic style BCD and basically all I've got here, this is the Marius Pure back and plate system. Um, one thing about back inflates, they are very, very similar to back plate and wings by design. As far as you have a harness system, you have a back plate system, and you also have a bladder system. And it's kind of that three component system that comes together to make the back inflate system or even say a back plate and wing system. However, we typically think of when you're diving doubles, whether it's recreational or say technical diving, we typically think that, okay, we've got a back plate with a threaded harness. And we also have a wing system, whatever wing system you want to go with, but you'll notice all these little holes in the center of the plate. And typically what that is for is part of your band system will have a bolt system that comes through it, the bolt through here, and then you got a little wing nut or a speed nut that kind of locks it into place. And then that's how your system is actually attached to a double system. And for most generic BCDs, you're not going to be able to attach a double system to a generic BCD like I've done here. However, there are certain manufacturers and certain models out there that will actually allow you to do it. This happens to be one of them, and so that's the one we're gonna use for this video. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually spin this around so you can kind of see what it looks like, and then I'm gonna take the BCD off of the double uh, cylinders here and show you exactly how it works. So if I spin the guy around real quick, You'll notice that I just have manifolded doubles here. I do have my band system that holds them together. The system is manifolded. But what you'll notice is, is I got two tank straps here. I have one high, one low, and I'll show you why one's high and one low here in just a minute. And basically what that does is it actually holds the cylinders together. So if I pick this guy up, you'll notice they're not rocking around, they're not shifting around. They're actually stable here. And so now what I wanna do is take the BCD off and I'll show you how that's possible. All right, guys, so if we take a closer look at this BCD and actually dissect it, we can see exactly how that works. Now, like I said, this is a back inflate system, so it's very similar to a back plate wing as far as it has three major components. We have a harness system. We have a back plate system here on this particular one. It's a hard back plate or a Dillard plastic plate. And then, of course, we have a, um, a wing system here in the back. Now this one is just a standard bladder or standard donut bladder from Marez. But what I wanna focus on here for this video is the actual back plate itself. As you can see, there's a tank cradle here. And that tank cradle is there to design to stabilize that cylinder. It's very similar to how a single tank adapter works, say on a back plate and wing system. And what that does is that prevents this tank from doing this when it's on your back. It actually, it's a concave system here and that tank kinda of settles in. It's a saddle system, if you will. It locks that tank into place so it's going to be stable when you're wearing it. On this particular model though, there's actually an extra slot here to where you can take another cam strap and actually thread it through and have two cam straps. Now the reason that it doesn't come with two cam straps is you actually, in a single system, you don't actually need two cam straps. You only need one to actually secure it because that tank cradle is going to hold it into place. However, this particular system here, if we kind of pull the wing by, you'll notice that there's another little cradle system built in here and it's just kind of another little concave flat piece here that will actually hold a cylinder very stable and we also got another one here on this side so if you're running say either independent doubles which are not very common or say a manifolded double system was probably the most common one out there you can actually put two cylinders on here the only thing that you're going to have to get is just one simple cam strap here and all you've got to do is simply thread it on pull it up through the other side of the plate. Now at this point, instead of actually threading the buckle system through, what I'm gonna actually do is leave it open and I'll show you why that's important here in just a minute. As I get this pulled through here, I'm actually gonna loosen this system up as well and I'm gonna take the strap out of the cam buckle because if you're running manifolded double systems and they've been banded together, it's gonna be very, very difficult to actually slide your cam strap over it. So as I pull this out, we're gonna actually start in this position just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the doubles back over here. And I'm gonna do this from behind so just so that you can see how it's done. What I'm gonna do is line the BCD up. Okay, once again, I've got manifolded, banded doubles here. I'm gonna take the top strap 
and I'm gonna pull the buckle system through just like that, okay? And just to hold it temporarily, I'm just gonna pull it through and kind of Velcro it in place. On the bottom strap system, I'm gonna pull the loose end or the working end of the strap through. Okay. Just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just temporarily hold it in place as well. And then what I wanna do is kinda of hold it up to where I think it needs to be, just like you would with a back plate wing when you're trying to uh, line up the grommet holes, if you will. And now I'm actually gonna go through and thread the buckle system in place. Now before I cinch it down, I'm gonna make sure everything is stable. Okay, once I make sure everything is stable, I make sure I've got my main BCD system or my points and control system exactly where I need it, then I can actually come over here and secure it, tighten it down, okay? Just like that. Now, since these are manifolded doubles, meaning I've got a band that holds them together, they're also held together with manifold, that's also gonna keep it from rocking around even more. That cradle system that's built into the back of the BCD is also gonna hold it stable as well. And if I spin it around, you will see I have just a generic back and plate system that is attached to a set of doubles. Now, whether you decide to dive this or you decide to dive, say, a back plate wing system, the key is here is make sure everything is nice and secure, make sure it's balanced out for your trim as far as that's concerned, and just make sure that you're comfortable and you're safe while you use it. All right, guys, just as a quick recap, when we typically think of doubles, we typically think of a back plate, whether it's steel, aluminum, or a soft plate that has a harness system attached. We also think of a separate bladder system, and it's all held together by a bolt system through the bands that hold the manifolded doubles together. However, as you can see, you can use a generic BCD system, if you will, say either a back inflate or even a jacket style if it has that tank cradle that has two extra stabilizers built in. Some manufacturers are actually making that nowadays because it's a little bit more comfortable to get into than what a standard back plate and wing is. Now, whether you decide to use a generic system like that or you're on the back plate and wing crowd, that's gonna be completely up to you. I'll tell you right now, personally, I went to the dark side many, many years ago, and of course, I dive side mount now. I personally cannot put uh, doubles on my back because it kills my back nowadays. So I did go to the dark side and went to a side mount system. However, if this is what you wanna do, I would encourage you to seek out an instructor. Also seek out, say, a gear rep who can actually walk you through the process of whatever manufacturer BCD that you decide to use if it's set up for a double system and let them train you properly on how to use it. Guys, anytime that we're underwater, we wanna be the safest diver that we can be and usually by practicing with the system over and over and over in a confined water or pool session is gonna make you a lot safer before you take it out and dive in open water. But Big Ball Snake 11, thank you for your question. I hope this answered your questions out there. If guys, if y'all got any questions or maybe you've read something on a manufacturer's website, let me know what that question is and I'll see if I can kind of explain it or answer it in the best way that I can. If you've got equipment and you're not sure how it works, please feel free to send it to us. I'll put all our information in the description below and I'll kind of make you a video on how to use it and of course I'll ship it back to you. But guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope it was entertaining for you and educational. If you like this video, please hit that like button and definitely share it as well. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube and as always guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.